Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. Welcome to Tech Dive TV Help Desk. In today's Help Desk, we're going to be talking about a new type of laptop called a Chromebook. Now, you may see them. They have them from Samsung, Acer, HP, and Google. Uh, it is a Google Chromebook no matter who makes it. And it's based on the Chrome OS, not Windows, not Macintosh, not Linux. The Chrome OS is an operating system based on the Chrome browser. So what this means is when you use the Chromebook, you have to have an internet connection. It's not a computer that's designed to be used off of the internet, only while connected to the internet. Now, let's talk a little bit about the hardware. It looks like a regular laptop. It usually has a very beefy CPU, like maybe a, an i5 or an i7 uh, It had by Intel. Uh, it has usually about two to four gigs of RAM, but the storage is very minimal. Many only have 16 uh, gigabytes. Some have less, some have more. But storage is not the option usually on a Chromebook. The idea is that you store your files that you create and use in the cloud. So you get a Google Drive account. Now Google Drive is online storage if you're not familiar. Google Drive also allows you to have a word processor in the cloud, spreadsheet in the cloud, database, presentations, all that information and functionality in the cloud as opposed to stored on your computer. It's a different way to compute, but it's not a bad way to compute. It's very lightweight. Not physically, but physically it's lightweight too. But you don't have to worry about all your files on your hard drive and all of a sudden your hard drive going bad and losing all that data because all of your information is stored securely in the cloud. Now, what's the real difference between a Chromebook and a regular laptop? Well, you don't have to install updates because it's updated for you automatically. Most of your programs are in the cloud, so they're always updated. You can't load software on a Chromebook. First of all, you have very limited storage, and that's not the way it's designed. It's designed to be a mobile computer that works off of information in the cloud. So you store everything at Google, now, you have to have a Google account, therefore you have to have a Gmail account, so Gmail will be your mail, Google Drive will be your online storage, uh, you can also use Google Drive for your productivity applications, but anything you can do on the web, you can still do on the Chromebook. And let's face it, most people do the following with their laptop. They check email, they go to the web and check websites. They check the scores of their sports teams or their bank account information. You can do all of this on a Chromebook. You can play games on a Chromebook. It's just the games aren't loaded physically on your machine. Do you like Angry Birds? You can play Angry Birds on the Chromebook. So the difference between a Chromebook and a laptop is the cloud. Light, airy, wonderful. So take a look at Chromebooks. By the way, price-wise, Chromebooks are usually very inexpensive, usually around $239, $249. There's one that's much higher. It's called the Google Pixel. This is a Chromebook that's about the same price as an Apple MacBook. It starts at about $1,500, but it has an excellent screen. It has phenomenal processing power and a little bit more storage. Uh, so if you want a high-end Chromebook, go ahead and look at the Pixel. But the other Chromebooks by Samsung and Acer and HP, they're in the more $249 range. So take a look at them. Most computer stores will have them. If not, look online. You'll find them at your favorite retailers that sell technology. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV. Have a great day.